we shall pick our team for the game. Theo, I'll come to you first. I think we will all assume that Alison Becker will be in goal. The, the back four, we kind of know who's not going to be there, but who are you going to pick to, to play across that back line? I should say, what a professional ghost he is there, keeping his cool with a dog walking over his shoulders, not battering an eyelid. <laughs> For those listening, one. by the way, it's it's not a Rottweiler walking over his shoulders. It's not like he's got like a, the biggest dog in the world walking over his shoulders. It's, um, it's just a little... What is, what is he, a mixed pug and what? Pug and a dash hand. Pug and a dash hand, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, back four. Um, I reckon Trent, Robertson, Van Dijk... I'd lean towards, well, part of me would like to see Gomez play to have a second game in a row at centre-back. It just depends how long Matip's out for. But if it's going to be an illness, I'd imagine he'll go with Canate. So I'd want to see Gomez play, but I reckon he'll go with Canate. Yeah, I'm with you 100% on that one. Joe, who are you going to go for? Canate, just because I, I just I just really like him, really been impressed by him. And the more I can, I can see him play, um, it's good for him. And, no, I quite like watching the play as well. So, can I say? And I think physical West Ham, aren't they? Some big players, set pieces. So, yeah, makes sense. Yep, certainly does make sense. Gorsty, if that's the same for you, do you want to move on to the midfield for us as well? Yeah, full house, can I say? Um, midfield, Fabinho. I'm not sure about Henderson, actually, because he, he played Wednesday, didn't he? Which I'm surprised about. Um, given oh, he, he played an hour, didn't he? Yeah, he only played an hour. What did he, what did he play in, in the final? Was it eight, 70, 80 minutes? I suppose he did, didn't play the full 120, did he? Um, I suppose with no Cater or Thiago, the, the numbers are a little bit thinner on the ground than, than they have been in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I'll go with Fabinho, Henderson, and then... I don't know, really. Pe- Elliot? That, that was my third man. I think Fabinho and, and Henderson pretty nailed on, Theo. Elliot, for me, is there a, a different one for, for you? There's not quite as many options as there has been in, in recent weeks. I'm saving Henderson for Inter Milan like he's at these couple of starts. I think that's the sort of game you need him in more. I'm going for Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. He's got this great record, I think, against West Ham. It might be more the away games, but he always seems to have a good game against them. I think probably has been linked with in the past as well. Um, I think him on the left, he, he's probably still got a, bit of a point to prove. Uh, Fabinho is the number six. And then Harvey Elliott, I think it would only be his first Premier League start or second Premier League appearance since he got the injury against Leeds in uh, September. Certainly some lost time for him to make up for it. He did well when he came on at half-time in midweek. Uh, good look, chance to get a look at him. And then you're relying on your more senior players against uh, Inter Milan. But yeah, good chance to see what Elliott can do on this one, hopefully. Yeah, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain I didn't, didn't think was great midweek, Joe. But who are you going to go for in your, in your midfield? I'd also be tempted to go with Oxlade-Chamberlain. Um, just because of the type of game, I think it suits him. Um, you know, he has a decent record against West Ham in the past. And I'm just starting to think there won't be that many more chances for him. But I don't think I'd be keen to put him alongside Elliot in midfield. But, you know, again, like Gorsley said there, you know, I think I'd have been tempted had others been fit to, to bring Henderson out of it. But, you know, with the, with the injuries they've got, I think it'd be Henderson for being, you know, like you said, nailed on. Um, and yeah, I, I'd play Oxide Chamberlain. But again, it's a shame, isn't it? Because this, this is where, you know, like Thiago and Cater are, are unlucky in the sense that the games that you think that they would play in, they, they seem to have fitness issues. So, yeah, um, that would be my three. Yeah, Navi Cater has had one or two decent games against West Ham as well, hasn't he, in the past? But not available for this one. Front three, Gorsty, do you want to talk us through who you're going to go for? Uh, yeah, Salah, Mane. Uh, I don't think Jota is... Is it under percent at the moment? I think he's still carrying a little bit, little bit of that ankle problem from the inter game. <coughs> it seems a little bit of a shame to to leave him in Amino out because of how he played through the night. You know, there's no real reward for a player if you can put in a performance like that and then you get left out. Um, don't know whether I'm going to go with Minamino instead of Jota. And Diaz is there, isn't he? See, th- th- these are the options Liverpool have got now. You know, you. Used to just be you nailed on 11, didn't it? Now you're, you're thinking. Uh, I'll go Diaz, Salah, Mane. 
I'm going to go Salah, Jota, Mane, but just when Gorsty was talking there, Theo, a bit of me did think with maybe one or two less options in midfield, one more option in attack. Is there even a chance to, to switch the formation up or would you say that it's a, a nailed on 4-3-3? Um, I reckon it's nailed on 4-3-3. Liverpool are not set in their ways, but it's their formation. It's one they know how to play and they only change it when they need to change it. So if we're on the hour mark and they need a goal, Maybe then you'll see a 4 2 3 1 or a 4 4 2 like they did against Norwich in the league a few weeks ago. But yeah, 4 3 3 seems to be what they stick with. It's what they know, it's what they do well in. No reason to really change it against West Ham. Um, I'd stick with Diaz, Salah, and Mane. I agree with Gorsty. Jotters still doesn't look right. Um, I'm not sure how much he's feeling the effects, if it's just he needs some minutes. But it's like well, the inter game when you can make five substitutions, that one's one where you can manage him a bit better more there is that temptation with Minamino um it's more a game I suppose for Origi if you're really going to change the front line because you know how physical that West Ham defense can be and he had a great impact away at their place earlier in the season but Diaz, Mane and Salah is the front three at the moment um they have just got that little bit more quality and Liverpool need to get the wins they need to get the goals and those three that should deliver it yeah, it's an interesting one, isn't it, Joe, with Minamino with one or two other options, but which three are you going to go with? I fully agree with what Theo and Gorsi have said, yeah. I mean, as you say, it's a bit harsh on Minamino and, you know, to, for him to drop out, but I, but I honestly think, you know, Liverpool can't be charitable. They've, they've, got, to, they've got to win these games, haven't they? And... and yeah, I mean, I agree as well. I don't think Jota looks quite fit. I think Theo makes a good point about the five subs um, on Tuesday night. I think that probably suits him, doesn't it, um, to bring him back in. I don't think Firmino will start that one after such a long spell out. So, yeah, I, I would play those three. three. And, and again, just Diaz, more minutes for Diaz. I think it will only be beneficial for Liverpool. And it's great for us as well, isn't it? Because that's another thing at the moment. God, just love watching him. He's, there's not many players that come in and immediately start like he has and just you just want to see more and more football out of him don't you because he's just a stunning player to watch another one that was great in the Carabao Cup final on Sunday so yeah um, those three for me um, you know and then you can bring them off and bring Origi on and Minamino when, when the job's done yeah, David Moyes revealed I think about a week or so ago didn't he that they tried to, to sign Luis Diaz in January so a few people sure. did didn't they uh, like, yeah I think it's been overlooked quite a bit that the, the West, uh, sorry, Everton were pretty much on the verge of, yeah. uh, I think they'd agreed Everton, hadn't they? And Ames Rodriguez did us all a favour and said no, and, you know, he's at Liverpool. So it sounds like a lot of people were well aware of it. Yeah, certainly glad that Liverpool were the ones to get him. Let's go for some match predictions then. I think I'm going to go 3-1 to Liverpool. Gorsty, how do you reckon it might be? I mean, Liverpool don't concede many at all, do they? Um when the the proper back five are in, shall we say. Um so I think they might just win, you know, fairly comfortable 2-0. 2-0, Theo. Um 3-0, I'm feeling a bit confident with this one. I reckon it's gonna be strong back four. Can be solid defensively. Uh West Ham haven't been the best for scoring goals recently, and I think they've only got one striker really in Antonio, and he's not been on the goal blaze. At the moment, which means it was four. <laughs> Sorry, I just I can't. No, you no, never heard that. Do you not like that? No, I've probably no. just made up. To be honest, I've I probably don't got just like it. I just, I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, three 0 Three 0 A goal blaze for you, Joe? Uh, no, not a goal blaze for me. A uh, two one, I think. I, I just I, I can I can see Liverpool sort of taking a decent lead, and then West Ham just making it a little bit nervous towards the end, Nick and one. So. Yeah, 2-1. Uh, I do think they're the sort of team that expect Liverpool to get past, but just to make things slightly nervous for them. So, um, yeah, um, no no goal, goal plays, yeah, like that. On the goal plays? Yeah. yeah. Sounds very American. It's like, um, it's like... <laughs> sounds I've like been a, listening to uh, Jesse Marshall earlier, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yes, well, a goal blaze. I think we will leave it on that note. Plenty of build-up and reaction, of course, to come in all of the usual places. Thanks to Paul Gorse, Joe Rimmer and to Theo Squires for joining me. Until next time, it's goodbye for now.